let's bring Spencer up to the stage, our dungeon master. Now I just want to make sure. <laughs> do we have a? Uh, oh, do 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 you do you have do you have character for uh, for uh, do you have Mole Rain's uh, character? Yeah, I got everyone. All right, that's a that's a good 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 Let's opportunity to here. bring my uh, my girlfriend, the lovely Aaron McGathy up here. Aaron McGathy, everybody. So I just want to make sure before we proceed any further. <laughs> that, I, I, there's nobody in the audience for sure who is like who got a phone call a couple days ago from Stand Up Live that said you've won a contest. A limo will pick you up. There's a six drink minimum. You and twenty. No, there's nobody here that was like like what the fuck is this? Okay, all right, all right. Like they'd say yes, because I. But I, I, that, that was my big nightmare. Was of course there's some lady in the back going like like I don't understand what what's happening. Babe, babe, it's going great. It does, it, I'm not fi- I'm not fishing for that. <laughs> Your hair looks beautiful. You, you, Thank you. You did a great job with the merchandise, and she was out there running Thank the you. merchandise table. And Thank you. It's going to be open after the show, so please please come on by. Spencer's setting up his uh, D&D equipment. Uh, Spencer, if you will, please get us up to date and recap where we are in our campaign. All right. <laughs> Last time, our heroes had met with Lord Butzelot of the Butzelot Barbarians. The group had been puzzling over the fragments of power, those shards of great arcane energy, but unsuccessful. In the wreckage of the White Skull encampment, a horse-drawn wagon approached Sharpie and crew. The wagon opened up, revealing a magical storefront and a halfling merchant by the name of Olaf. While Quark and Olaf haggled over scrolls and portable holes, Sharpie had a heart-to-heart with his father. Not long after, the group heard a strange noise. Loosing Avenger, Sharpie's familiar, the hawk scouted out the enemy. Aided by Olaf and his shoot gun, the group slew the displacer beast. But the peace was short-lived. A large rift opened in the sky and out poured the black fleet of Admiral Darkstar. The fleet launched many black cylinders, which impacted the earth with heavy thuds. That's where we left off. <laughs> so Admiral Darkstar is, is, is... Yeah, Spencer, everybody. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. We're on tour. We're on a tour bus with a dungeon master. I don't know if that... That, that may be a first. Yeah, that, that's... We still, we, we still don't really. <laughs> Spencer, you got fans out there, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. We I were mean, wa- they're they're Tucson fans. Uh, we were, we were warning Spencer, like who's you know not 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 accustomed to this, but it's like he has Spencer's got his own fans out there, and you're you're gonna have to get used to that, Spencer. You're a celebrity now. I guess. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're on the bus with Spencer, and we don't, we still don't know anything about him. We know that he works in the back of an Apple store, uh, and that he lives with his parents. And I and may or may not have brought weapons. Right. <laughs> Wait, well, for real? He never sleeps. That's he can't true. sleep. That's yeah. That's true. Yeah. Don't sleep. You don't sleep? No. Are, are, are you an insomniac? I tried person? it once, didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do sleep. I sleep. I'm a human. I yeah, sleep. of course he sleeps. <laughs> That's that you protest too much. That's not a Yeah. Spoken like a robot. <laughs> I've never i I've never said I'm a human. I've uh, never plugged like, into any sockets. That vehemence. Uh all right. So, Ready uh, go. So right now there's just giant thuds uh, crashing around us from Admiral Darkstar. Admiral Darkstar's fleet has been pursuing everyone. Or it's been, you know, unleashing on the on the plane. Are we in danger right now? You see several Large black cylinders thudding to the ground mysteriously. You don't know if this is danger, but it doesn't bode well. Aha! Quark! Quark! Sharpie, I, I was falling behind you. I was only a few miles behind. I had some business with some birds. I heard the thuds. I'm here to help. I have plenty of arrows and a great sense of adventure. <laughs> Go run into those uh, thudding cylinders and find out what they are. Shoot him in the feet. I am brave, and I uh, am not a very smart character, so uh, I inspect the thuds. Is that possible? You see what looks to be a large black cylinder. 
It's at least four feet tall and about a foot and a half wide. Its surface is black and unmarked, shiny like metal. I found a table, everybody. You, f you found a cylindrical table? I found a 1980s Coke table. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I detect magic on it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You, you detect magic coming from the cylinders. You kind of figured that would happen. Swiftly, the black ships sail overhead. They're going towards the west. Mango Butzalot's face grows cold. My cap! Your cap? My camp. Oh, I don't oh, enunciate okay. well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were un yeah, you were unconscious for a while. It's, it's okay. All right, so you, your camp is leaving? or They're, they're going towards his camp? Yeah. It looks like it. To me, my barbarians! His barbarians approach him, and suddenly he swirls his cloak in a vicious flourish. He's gone, as are his barbarians. Well, I mean, they're walking away. He didn't teleport. Right? Oh, he teleported. What? Whoa. Yeah. So he just went poof. Magic is a thing that exists in the world you're in. I know, but my dad, he's just a guy that eats He shards. has a magic belt. Who knows what other magic things he has? Oh, man. All he right. didn't even say goodbye. No, he didn't. So he's going back to his camp. You don't even know, man. Well, you saw a large group of men just disappear. But he said, my camp! Yeah, so, I mean, that's a fair assumption. Yeah. Like, he's, he's, not, he's not going to Taco Bell. Right. You never know. He loves his tacos. Are, are the columns making any, any noise after they fall to the ground? It's funny that you should mention. <laughs> you hear the whirring and clicking of mechanics and clockwork gears. Slowly, the cylinders begin to lift out of the grass, floating in midair. Uh-oh. They hang there, strangely, menacingly. <laughs> There's cut. You're being menaced by cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the last time. I mean... Do we have to confront these cylinders, or should we just get the hell out of there? I don't know, man. I, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't mean to... Like, you can't ask me what to do. That's the thing. No, no, no. no. Right, I'm not right, asking you right, what right. to do. So how big are the cylinders? They're four they're, foot tall, but one like and a half foot cans. wide, and they're round, and they're metallic. Like, maybe the size of a garbage can. Four foot tall cylinders that are sitting on the ground, or... They, they were. They're now they're, they're in, floating. They're suspended in the air. Now they're menacingly, menacing. menacingly hovering, yeah. and there's clockwork sounds coming out of them. This ain't no benign hovering. <laughs> Quark, Sharpie, I, I'll, I'll be brave. I, I'll inspect the, uh, the columns, the floating columns. All right. I feel like I should prepare in some way. Um, and that includes with my hands. I also inspect with my hands. You, uh, you search the column for any markings or demarcations or marks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see anything. The surface is clean. There is nothing here, gentlemen. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, let's pack it in. Let's, uh... <laughs> you hear a loud, obnoxious siren emitting from the cylinders. Siren? Siren. You feel sick to your stomachs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jeff and Dan are fine, but Mulrain is a... I'm sorry. Quark <laughs> and Sharpie are fine, but Mulrain is affli afflicted with sickness. Oh. Oh, I gotta sit down. Oh. Excuse me, I will stand behind this tree. I know what this feeling feel it means, and I, I, I'd like to be alone. You're Wait. so sick that you think there's a tree. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Uh, well, in, in, when I say tree, I mean just, just some sort of obstruction. Yes. <laughs> You're behind it now. All right. Can I, can I ask what my spell Mage Hand is? What Mage is that, Hand allows it? you to levitate light objects up to five pounds. Yeah. They're already levitating. You don't, you don't, you don't know that. Yeah. Uh, what, what about, uh, I just found out I can perform the loot. Should I play some loot right now? Is that, is that, a, is that a bad time? <laughs> You're going to throw a, a knife yeah. at the moon? What? what? That's a throwback. You can play the loot. No, no, I, I'm kidding. I don't want to play the loot. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I, I had listen. Uh, it was my, li my listening skills. I, I, I go up to one of the cylinders and I listen. It's emitting a loud, obnoxious siren that's making you feel kind of sick. I, I stop listening to it. All right. <laughs> I produce my crystal shard. You produce your crystal shard. What, what, it's not crystal. Whatever it is. That, that, that shard thing. The fragment of power is produced. Right, right. <laughs> Thank you. I produce mine as well. Do I, do I still have one? Yeah. It's and like we kind of really rub them together. Like, I, I produce just a, the tips of them. I yeah. produce a different kind of shard. Ew. <laughs> Ew. 
<laughs> oh, that's like my first poop joke I've ever made. Ever. Uh, sorry, everybody. Uh, you poop shards? <laughs> that might be useful. Uh, do, do, our, do, do our two shards have any magical powers together? Well, I mean, do you, you touch them together, right? You rub them together. Yes, we're rubbing, we're rubbing our shards. Nothing's happening. Well, well, not happening. But I, I hold them toward the... I walk toward the, one of the cylinders with the shard. We must look like <laughs> the biggest idiots in the world from anyone's perspective, like... The cylinders are hanging, and we're just. Are there any D and D fans out there who know what to do, and we don't? What? Oh, it's just. Flesh it's knife. A, take out your flesh knife. That's uh, just. Yeah. Uh, you, you play Scrabble? <laughs> what if he? What if he really was the guy that was playing Scrabble with Ben? Two of the cylinders rise up and fly towards you. Uh oh. They strike both Quark and Sharpie oh, in shit. the chest. We should have attacked. Aha! Oh no! It's not fun. Uh, I I use alchemist's fire. All right. Okay. So that's a thrown weapon. So uh, okay. Quark takes six damage. Sharpie takes two damage. Throw the alchemist's fire. It hits. Aha! It does four damage. Mm. The cylinder's now on fire. Great. It's <laughs> exactly what I wanted. You both relax. Feel free to lie next to each other. Use each other's bodies for comfort. Can I can I take out my bag of holding and re remove one of these from the uh, from the sky, or is that a bad idea? Or remove one of what? I, I, can, I, can I throw my bag of holding over one of the cylinders, or is it? That'd be a tricky move. It might be possible. Do you attempt? No, I I, actually, I, I take out portable hole and I make them fall into a portable hole. Well, it floats, so it doesn't fall in a hole. I oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I take out my loot. <laughs> you play okay. Can, uh, can I ask you a question, Spencer, about yeah, one yeah. of my spells? Any of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Detect thoughts. Detect thoughts would probably <laughs> not work on metallic en entities. Yeah, well, I thought maybe there would be a dude Things with brains. Oh, yeah. Them. Well, I mean, you could do and detect nothing. Uh, Spencer, may I use They're an thoughts. anchor? Do you have an anchor? Oh, yeah. I do. Okay, so you have Qual's Feather Token. That's a token that can turn into an anchor. So. May I use Qual's Feather Token? To anchor the uh, the things on fire to the ground. All right. Adventure. <laughs> you toss the token. It 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 doesn't do anything. It falls on the ground. All right. All Sorry, right. gentlemen. I, so I, I I I take off all my clothes, and I and I go right under one of these things. They're floating in the air, right? Mm -hmm. Like I take off my robe, and I and I and I and I lay naked under it, and I look up at it, and I go. Nothing happens. I, I, I think we should we could just go. I think we could just leave. Yeah. So, oh, so, so are we? Uh, are these friends or foe? <laughs> well, no, they, 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 they just attacked us. I, t I took like six damage. I okay. You know, I, I keep doing it, but I, I have a thing here. I've got. I, I take out my mysterious emerald dagger, and I go into a uh, into a a, 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 a a rage. Producing your emerald dagger, you fly into a barbarian rage. Your mind clouds with anger and rage. You can't think clearly. I attack. You attack in your rage. You attack uh, a cylinder. The flaming cylinder? Yes. Another? Okay. You attack the flaming cylinder. Oh, uh, you miss really hard. In I... your rage, you can't hit anything. Oh, I, I get out of my rage. You end your rage. You feel <laughs> slightly fatigued. I, I, I slowly put my clothes back on. Uh, <laughs> you you re-robe. I, I watch and giggle uncomfortably. Wow, and, this and is pretend happening. that I'm writing, but you, I'm not. You hear a loud crackling noise. Lightning is arcing between the cylinders. Uh-oh. Ooh. The three of you are struck by bolts of lightning. Oh! <laughs> All right. Uh, Sharpie takes six damage. Jesus. Quark takes three and Maureen takes one. Ha-ha! Strongest! So, so we're fighting two giant thermoses right now. We're getting our asses kicked. Three. Three. Three thermoses. Anybody out there know what to do? <laughs> these are just, uh, this is the second, these are just references to the... They're very loving... Uh, Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. What, are, yeah. what are water skins? Those are like bags that hold water. They're necessary. <laughs> I do a power attack. You do a power attack. You could choose between one and three. Three is the most damage. One is the least damage. A three. All right. You hit. You deal. 
Oh, this is so slow, you guys. Twelve damage. Fuck yeah. Wow. The cylinder splinters into fragments and falls to the ground inert. Fragments. 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 Not, not those, just not, like metal. Oh, all right, I get excited. Not shards, not shards. Fragments. All right. Ray of Frost. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Ray of Frost fans out they, there. They love it. They love the Ray. Yeah. It misses. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, more rain. Shoot a thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, these cylinders, they didn't even do anything wrong. They're, they're, what, they well, no, they, 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 they're shooting lightning bolts yeah, at yeah, us, yeah, and yeah. they've one knocked me in the chest. Yeah. If you hang out long enough, they will eventually attack you. Yeah. But we, Spencer, <laughs> are, they, are they both on the ground or just one? One of them's dead. The other two are floating around. Okay. I take two arrows, and I split them into a V, which is something I do all the time. I split them into a V and I pull them back and I, with my, with my two eyes that are able to go two different ways, like a fish, I pull them back and, and fire them. Oh, they both hit. Aha! Adventure! That's a first. That's a first. Well done. One of them takes five. The other takes 12. They're not dead, but they seem a bit messed up, broken-ish. <laughs> What's wounded for a machine? Uh, broken. Malfunctioning. There Malfunctioning. You go. There you go. That area. <laughs> Fucking, I got nothing here. I, I, I can well, talk. luckily, it's the cylinder's turn again. Oh. Oh. Mole rain and quark. You take damage of some sort. Six and five damage. So, six and five damage. How am I doing here? You're not doing so hot. Do, do, do don't I have, like, heal moderate wounds or some shit? You always think you do, but you never have. <laughs> okay. Can you I, do have a pendant of healing. Can I, I take my, oh, my, my healing pendant? Yeah. I, t I, I put on my healing pendant. Okay. It, it's put on. You think it'll, it, it has to boot up, if you, rem if you recall. All right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll reboot. Okay. Can I take my water skins? Yeah. Okay. They're gonna... taken. <laughs> so I'm holding my water skins. Mm -hmm. uh, can I, uh, I throw my water skins at the two uh, floating columns. Feeling sickened, you seem a bit uneasy, but you attempt this strange maneuver. <laughs> One of the water skins strikes. Lightning arcs across the surface of the disc, and it falls to the floor. Aha! All right. Wait, wait, I, I, was, I was studying my sheet. You, you knocked a disc off of a... I knocked... They're weak to water. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I have water skins, water. too. Good. I do, I do the same thing. It's not. It's Dan's turn. Oh, uh, you still loop. have to boot up. All right. I cast ray of water. Is that it's a real? bit of a stretch. <laughs> uh, ray of water. Uh, Is that a real thing? On no, your it's paper? not. It's not. I thought I could lie. Just, uh, just pee, pee on it. Yeah. You okay. took your clothes off earlier. So. Yeah, yeah. It's not much of a stretch. All right. I, I try. I mean, it's all. I don't have water skins. I try to pee on. I'm gonna uh, roll for your bladder fullness. Yeah. Oh, shit. You manage a petty stream. It, doesn't, <laughs> it is but a trickle. Did I, did I hit it? What? No. no you, met, uh, a petty you barely stream. hit the ground. Yeah. Uh, well, it almost evaporates. <laughs> so, I don't get why people have, find this Have funny. we been reduced to peeing on robot cylinders? <laughs> uh, it's all I can think to do. I have three sheets. I, I, I try, I, but that I was smart of Mulrain to, to use water. I, I, is it my turn yet? Yeah, yeah. I take my water skin out and do whatever the hell she did. You aren't as accurate with a throw as Mulrain, but you do attempt it. All right. Oh, that's a good roll. You strike Aha. the cylinder. Nice. Water splashes across its surface. It, too, falls to the ground. Inert. Oh, I, all right. are, they, are they all gone? They're all gone, yeah. Good job. Okay, so we beat up three cylinders. <laughs> Uh, we don't know if they were trying to help us. Are they full of, are they full of Skittles or something? Yeah, like a, we open we, one and it's just Jesus Christ, I, isn't I, it? I, right. uh, good job. I, I go up to one of the cylinders and I spryly jump upon it and, and try to open it. You spryly jump upon it. I have upon. a huge smile on my face and a really cute hat. Where'd you get the hat? From Olaf? I, uh, uh, yeah, I, he dropped it out of, his, uh, out of his wagon. I can roll with that, yeah. She has a hat, you guys. Okay. You do this. Nothing happens. Maybe battle robots aren't full of treasure. 
I, I, I touch one of them with a shard. That's not going to do anything. No, I, I think we. The, the, we just, these, these ships just dropped some robot poop, and, and we, we just like st- we, stood here and fought them. And we fought them. Yeah. And hey, now, but now your dad is off to his encampment. I say yeah. we. I say we ride toward the encampment. And now that we beat these uh, soldiers. I think these were sent by a greater force, an evil force. <laughs> but we could have, if, if we had just left in the first place, would they have followed us? I don't know. I think we just got to try different things, different approaches. Right. Well, I keep feel like I, I mean, keep trying to run away. Urinating uh, almost worked. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we, I guess we, I guess we walk in, uh, off into the distance, and the camera stays behind, and I, 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 I do, I do like a a, a Judd Nelson Breakfast Club fist in the air. <laughs> Uh, and freeze frame, which will c- conclude the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons chapter, right? Because there was no treasure, and yeah. All right, let's hear it for Spencer, everybody. Thank you, Spencer. Woo!